Hi there guys, welcome back. Today I'd like to talk a bit about power banks. Uh, power banks here in Denmark at least have become very popular and uh, mostly because people are playing uh, Pokemon Go. Clearly, fun game. And of course the phones are running low on power. So people want to get these power banks that are able to extend the battery life or load while using your phone uh, on on the move. So. Of course, my wife, who also plays uh, Pokemon, uh, wanted to to buy a power bank for me and her. <laughs> so, she went to eBay, found a seller of power banks, and uh, yeah, let me show you what she found. Here we go, eBay. We have an item number. It says dual USB power bank. 6 times 18650 external backup battery charger box case there we go that's the keyword of course she's not natively fluent in english but she speaks english but the price should really have ringed some sort of bell but it didn't so she ordered two she ordered one in black and one in uh, pink. Uh, you can see this pink. You can see there's a number there. It says 1x, 4x or 6x. That's actually the number of batteries. It's not clear about that, but that's okay. So it's also uh, this is the number of the battery type that you are supposed to use with this thing. Uh, she was expecting to be able to put in regular AA batteries. Of course, she <laughs> that's not possible. Uh, you need to use something like, uh, I just googled an image, there we go, these. These are however very expensive here in Denmark at least. Uh, so if I needed to buy six of these, uh, I would pay roughly $100 just for the batteries. <laughs> so you can see the battery pack itself or the box is quite cheap. The funny thing is, yesterday the boxes arrived. And uh, <laughs> I would like to show them to you. I got this is the black one. Very nice. It's open right now. You can see at the top we have uh, two USB connectors and a micro USB which says in meaning you can charge, use this as a charger as well to charge the batteries inside. This is the one C wanted to use. Same type, you have two USBs. One says output one amp, the other says two amps in the plastic. The same with this one. And there's a micro USB input in the middle. And I think there should have been a LED right there. Uh, there's something in there, but it's not connected, so, yeah. So, the first thing is, when uh, when you get these, you want to open them. And uh, she was looking like this. She tried to put in regular AA batteries. Of course, they couldn't fit because uh, these batteries called the uh, 18650 are longer than AA batteries. And I said to her, well... That doesn't even matter if you find some batteries that will fit, because this device won't work out of the box as is. And I'm not talking about the back not fitting back on, because it does not fit. It does not fit back on. You have to use violence to close it. And uh, this plastic feels like really cheap. Uh, ABS, so it's going to break, no doubt about it. The button itself is uh, placed inside the lid like this, and it's pressing down on a button right here. Well, that's not the reason why it won't work. The reason why it won't work is because this bar that's supposed to connect one side of the batteries isn't connected inside the box. <laughs> so, that's useless. Of course I can fix it. 
uh, I need to solder that back in. Uh, but that's that's a bit strange that when you buy something, you can see it's disconnected right there. It's very hard to see. Let's see if we can get this silly camera to focus. No, no focus today. And yeah, now it focuses. Um, that's a problem. And it's not only uh, the purple one, oh sorry, pink. The exact same problem are with the, the black one. And that's the one I noticed first. It has room for six batteries. So that's $100 worth of batteries inside. Yeah. It's also not connected, so it also needs uh, repairing. So I could imagine people buying these, and if you have the batteries, uh, it might not even work because it's not connected up here. And sometimes it's working and it'll be like, oh, if I hold it like this, it will work. But if I do this, it won't work. And that's because the weight of the electronics will push down on the bus bar and make the connection, but it's a poor connection. <laughs> it won't even uh, uh, recharge the batteries if it's on this side because there is no connection. That's some shitty junk and this one has the same problem even if I'm very carefully trying to fit this it's not going in it's it, it does not fit <laughs> so if I did you hear that that's not a nice sound you want. And it's not even close in this end. There we go, it's closed. But you also heard some of the plastic breaking, right? And uh, if we take a look, I don't think you can see it on camera, but when I look down here, I can see there's a lump right here and a lump right here. It's just bad design, extremely poor materials. And yeah, never mind. Uh, really bad made. Two major problems. I haven't even looked at the electronics yet. Sure, maybe they work, maybe they don't. I don't even care at this point. The bus bar disconnecting during transport, if it even was connected. Yeah, well, I can see it was connected at some point because I can see there's some soldering on here and some on there so at some point but it's so little so little and it's barely anything yeah i don't know junk china junk sold on ebay it's sold for a few dollars but it's a few dollars too much there we go let's take a look at this article you can see the pink one we have, that's a 4X, so if we say pink 4X, that's almost $3. The black one, 6X, that's almost $4. This piece of shit is not worth $4. Uh, I'm not going to complain, I don't care. Uh, I just want people to know, don't stop buying this shit. Because it's it's just yeah of course I'm going to tell my wife not to buy this again. Uh, these cheap products are really ruining the reputation of uh, good products online because what they are actually doing they are trying to replicate or copy a decent or working product. And the difference is really it has some sort of quality assurance or quality checking. This one it. It says it's CE approved. It's not really an improvement. That so that's a strange thing to write because the CE is a marking, meaning when I mark my goods, CE, meaning I can sell it in Europe. Uh, it means I live up to a certain standard, <laughs> and, and this shit does not live up to that standard. It's terrible. It shouldn't even be in Europe. It shouldn't even be around for hobbyists. It's junk. 
So, unfortunately, I'm stuck with this junk now. Of course, I got a better battery bank. Uh, and I'm not talking about Chinese products in general, because there's a lot of good Chinese products. But this one, no. Don't buy these cheap replica battery chargers and power banks, because they're just going to rip you off in the end. It's shit. And you might think, hey, four dollars, that's nothing. It means nothing to me. Well, that's exactly how they earn their money. And uh, I know these sellers, if you go in and you complain, then they will write you back and say, hey, you can have your five dollars back if you give us five stars. And that's why all these eBay sellers have five stars, because they give the money back. And when somebody unsuspecting, like my wife, go in and buy something, she looks, oh, they have a good rating. But that's bullshit, so the eBay, eBay rating is just bullshit. Don't count on that to work. Make your own decision. Check, does it look right? Is the price right compared to what the product can do? So in this case, $4 for some electronics. I know electronics are extremely cheap, but this is too cheap. So that alone should be a, hey, there's something wrong here with this product. Thanks for watching guys. Comment rate if you have any similar experiences, feel free to share them. Uh, find it, find it uh, quite funny to see all these very bad products just rolling in over Europe and I'm sure in America as well. Tons and tons of bad products just being exported to to the world in general. Yeah. Consider subscribing and uh, I'll keep you updated with some more videos. Thank you. Bye.